Hello guys, I'm Alessio and today we are going to build a Telegram chatbot that will be connected to a MySQL database. As you can see, the database is already created inside the PHP My Admin and is called MySQL DB bot. Let's start the bot and as you can see a simple text message shows up. Now we can do the insert command inside our database, which is insert, for example, button bottle ten quantity of the bottle, so or order correctly inserted. And as you can see, if we refresh our database, the order is inside. We can select all the orders inside our database. Here, here they are. We can update a uh, single order uh, by writing our ID, our next uh, name of the product, for example, let's say wallet, and we have the quantity. And as you can see, the product is actually updated. Now, we can delete our product, so for example, let's write delete one order with ID 1 was correctly deleted, so if we update our database, the order is not there. And that's all. So this is what we are going to build. For this project, we are going to use XAMPP for hosting our MySQL database. Now, you can download XAMPP by following this link and choosing your platform. In this case, we are using a Windows platform. So we just select here the download for this kind, for this specific version. Once you have installed XAMPP, just search it on the search bar and open it. Here you need to start Apache and MySQL. Now this, the, first, the, the next step is to actually get the credential to uh, authenticate in uh, inside my inside PHP my admin. So just go to config in the Apache row and select PHP my admin config.inc.php. Here you will find your credential to use to actually use your database. Now let's start by writing some code. But first we need to create a folder which will be containing all the um, file that we need to actually start the bot. So create a folder and give it a, a, a name. Uh, inside this folder you must have a, uh, another folder, folder called ses sessions, a, a config.ini file and a .py file. Next open this folder inside your uh, prefer uh, preferred editor now in our in my case it will be visual studio code and open the dot file dot by file here we will import all the necessary libraries that we need to actually start the bot the first library is called config parser now if you don't have this library just write pip install config parser inside your terminal and um, the download will begin uh, the second library is called teleton the third library is called daytime you should have you should already have this uh, library and on the and the last library is called mysql db if you don't have this library just uh, write pip install MySQL client. We will use this library to connect um, to our uh, database. Next, let's initialize all the configuration that we need. First, let's create a config parser object and read the config.ini file. Inside this file, you should have written your API ID, API hash, and the bot token. You can obtain API ID and API hash by following this link, which you will find in the description of the, of the video. And for the bot token, you, you should write on a um, uh, user called botfather on Telegram and follow the instruction. Now, next, um, we should get our, um, our um, credential for connecting to our, to our, to our MySQL database. To get this credential, you must 
um, open your config.inc.php file and the host name will be found here writing this or writing localhost is the same uh, the username is this one the password is this one which which in my case is empty and then you need to set a, a name for your database next let's write our session name which will be um, created inside inside uh, the sessions folder and st actually start our bot by uh, using the uh, telegram client uh, function of the Teleton library. Let's create now our main function. Inside this function, the first thing to do is to actually create the database. You can skip this code if your database is already created or if your database is hosted on uh, another site. Now, to actually create the database, you should uh, um, you should call the connect method of MySQL library by passing host, user, and password as parameter. Now, the value of these parameters will be hostname, username, and password that you must have set uh, above here inside the config.ini file. Next, let's, let's create our cursor and the query string, which is create database and um, concatenated with the database name that we have set inside our config.ini file. The next step is to actually create uh, the database um, by passing the uh, query that uh, we have written here. Create a database is a function that just executes our, our query and prints database successfully created. Now, once the, the database is created, you sh we should connect to our database. So let's call again the connect um, method of MySQL DB function, but in this time we, we will pass the database name because now it's actually created and actually inside PHP MyAdmin. So let's connect to our database, let's, let's create our cursor and create our, um, the, our table, which is called orders. In this table, we have the, the ID, which we, will be our primar, primary key and of course our auto-incremented primary key. Our product name, which will be a varchar of 200 length. The quantity, which will be a simple integer and the last edit, which will be a, a date, but in this case, let's write the varchar um, type. Let's execute our, uh, our query, and so let's actually create our table, and then actually start uh, the bot. Now, let's create our start command. Here, we set that when the client, so when the bot, receives a, a message, uh, with the part with the pattern slash start it execute this function so inside this function we get we get the sender of the message we write a simple text a simple string and then we uh, send a message to the sender with the specified text let's analyze the insert method here the first thing is to get the sender of the message and next we should convert our string to a list because we need to get all the um, all the words after the insert command in fact an example of this command is this one so we should get the bottle of the product uh, as the product name and then as the quantity so we split our message by the space so our string becomes actually a list of words and then on the second which is on the second item of our list, there will be the, the product name. On the third item of our list will be the quantity. And next, by using the datetime.now method, we get uh, the string, the, the date, uh, the date string of actually now, of our date time. And next, we set all the parameters that we need to actually do the insert query inside our database. In fact, on the next step, we just, we just write our query, so it, which is insert into the table name, which is order, the values, null, and 
and then we, we set the product here, the quantity and the, the string. Now we execute our, our query and then we commit all the changes. Now, if at least one row is affected by the query, we send a specific message, uh, which is order correctly inserted. Otherwise, we, we, we send a, a, an error message, which is something went wrong, please try again. Now, let's analyze the select method. Inside this function, as always, we get the sender of the message and then we execute the, um, the, the select all query from the table orders. Mm, this query will, will return all the order inside the table. So uh, we fetch all the results. Now, if at least one row is selected, we uh, call another method, which is create select query. Inside this method, we create a simple text with all the answers inside our database, inside our table. So for every row inside our answer, we get the ID, the product, the quantity, and the creation date. date. And then we set a simple string with the HTML tag inside for a visualization purpose. Now we return, a, we actually return the a string, the, the message string from this, uh, from this method. Next, we just send our, uh, our text, re, um, which, is, which was created inside this, uh, this method, this function, uh, to our sender using the client.sendMessage method. If no order uh, are found inside, our, inside the database, we just um, write this text to our sender. For the update method, something is different because, again, as always, we get the sender of the, of the message, but the list of words after the update command must be different because the user must select the ID of the product that he wants to update. So the first element of the list must be a, an ID. And because the text written by the user is a string, we must convert um, that string to an integer like so. Next, we set all the params that uh, we need uh, inside the params tuple, and then we uh, just write the query. So we will update the order with ID written here with, um, with in respect to what uh, the user has written. Now, if at least one row is affected by the query, we send a specific message, which is this one. Otherwise, uh, we uh, send that the order with ID is not present inside our database. Let's analyze now the delete command. The only thing that we need to delete an order is uh, the ID of that order. So if the user sends the message slash delete one, the, the um, the order with ID1 will be deleted once inside our database. So the, uh, the list of words will be all the words after the delete, but we just need the ID of the product. Um, the query for the delete will be delete from orders where ID is equal to uh, a string. Then we execute our query by passing the ID uh, as the parameter, and then we commit all the changes. Now, as always, if at least one row is affected by the query, we send a specific message. Otherwise, we send order with ID is not present inside our database. That was all. Today, we saw how to create a bot for Telegram and connect it to a MySQL database. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Alessio and wish you all a good day. Bye.